Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are talking about Knox. They actually reached out to me and wanted me to do a sponsored video for them and I would be absolutely stupid to say no to that because I use Knox every single day. It's super easy for me to recommend it. And today we're going to be doing a little focus piece on Knox. Going to talk about what I really like about it. We're also going to be playing a bit of Azure Lane to show some of its uh, functions. Uh, you see I already have a few loaded up here, Knights Chronicle, Honkai, some of the games I've been playing. It's super easy, you can basically just treat this as a phone on your computer, you know, you can go to the Play Store, you can get whatever games you want to get. Also Knox is free, it's super easy to get, just go to their website, install it, it's a very fast and easy process, I'll be leaving that link in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Well unfortunately Azure Lane is under maintenance for the next 4 hours, so we're gonna have to grab a bit of gameplay from our first video we made for it so we can show it off because I did play this on Knox as well. Of course one of the super useful features of Knox is their keyboard input so you can basically play with keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can also with the help of Knox and another program play with a PS4 controller which I did a whole video about but at its core it's pretty simple you click on a place on the screen and you can hit like H and then every time you hit H on your keyboard it'll hit that area there are a ton of other good options as well you know you have your d-pad so when you're hitting W A S D your character will move in that direction for games with like gyroscopes and such you can even set that you can press a button to sort of emulate your device tilting right or left so we can have that like, you know, one, two, three, four, for example. When you're playing a shooting game, you can also put that right there, like in the middle or wherever your actual crosshair is, and your mouse will move around with it. And of course the fire button is always gonna be left click, as it typically is. And just tons of other things you can customize. It's actually really nice, a really innovative keyboard control here. So that's, I haven't even messed with all of the options there, but they are definitely there when you need them. Also for games like Knight's Chronicle, where you can have it either in portrait or landscape mode, you can change that here with uh, the, their rotate buttons. So you can have it like this with the click of a button there. Pretty nice. When I'm not recording, I actually like to have it like this because I can just put it off to the side when I'm autoing anything and it's actually really cool. They do have a built-in video recorder, but I haven't messed with that honestly because I'm using OBS. So I can't really attest to if that is very good or what goes on with it. They also do have controller settings, so maybe you would be able to hook up your controller. Again, I use DS4 Windows for that. Uh, but this could make it a lot simpler. They may have actually added this since I did that video because it says you can use your controller through the keyboard function and it's applicable to most controllers including Xbox. So this would probably work as well, just making that whole thing a lot easier. And of course, naturally, if you want multiple Noxes running, multiple Android emulators, you can have as many as you want to. So we can just launch this one that I kind of dedicated to Honkai Impact 3rd. So when I'm autoing anything on Knight's Chronicle, I can also play Honkai Impact 3rd over here while I'm waiting for that to finish, blah blah blah. So a few other things I really like about this emulator, firstly they have the location. So I had a lot of trouble playing Food Fantasy early on. I was in Europe and the APK that was provided to me didn't play friendly, I kept getting some weird errors and I just changed my location to United States, anywhere, it doesn't really matter and it worked perfectly fine so that's really good for getting around any sort of geo restrictions, kind of like a VPN and it's just built in there so that's really nice. You also have the ability to root your device, you can change how it performs in performance settings so if you have a slightly beefier PC you can set that to high and have really smooth nice graphics you can set the resolution and the graphics rendering mode uh, if you're having any problems running certain games just try switching that and it should help also if you're gonna be grabbing any APKs from the web I'll show you how insanely easy that is of course I would recommend checking your Play Store to see if it's available and if it is just get it from there but of course if you do need to resort to getting an APK I recommend APK pure I haven't had any problems with them and from there it's really just drag and drop and there it is but yeah I've tried pretty much all the big name Android emulators out there you know blue stacks Mimu CoPlayer leap droid even some of the lesser known ones and Knox is my choice and it always has been it's fast it's smooth it's responsive it's reliable it just has the whole package so yeah, it has my recommendation, sponsored or not. So tons of cool features packed into it. Again, I'm gonna be leaving that link in the description down below if you wanna check it out. Fully recommended, I've been using it for years. I've only ever run into problems when I hadn't updated it in a while, so if you're having issues, make sure you have the latest version, which you can also grab from their website, and you should be golden. So with that being said, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.